Okay, so in the last video, we solved for the SS, but that was using the definitional formula. In this video, we will solve for the SS using a different formula, which was the computational formula. So the formula for SS in our computational method is equal to the summation of our x squared minus our summation of our x all of that squared over n where x is equal to our value and n is equal to the number of points we have in our sample or our population. So to you do an example, we will use the same sample that we did in the last video. And that sample is five data points, which are two, four, one, five, and three. So the first step in this computational way is to take your x's and square each one of them. And when we do that, we get 4, 16, 1, 25, and 9. So the next step is to add up all of our x terms and all of our x squared terms. And when we do that, we get 15 for the sum of our x squareds x values, sorry, and for our x squared terms we get 55. And once we do that, we are ready to solve for our SS. So we take our formula, which I will rewrite, and simply plug everything in. So we have 55 here, minus a 15 here, and that is squared. And that is divided by 5, because we have 5 data points in our sample. And when we do that, we get an SS value of 10. And if you, call, if you recall from the last video, that when we found the SS of the sample using the definitional formula, we also got an SS value of 10. Now that is not a coincidence, and you will get the same SS value every single time, regardless of whether you use the definitional formula or the computational formula. So you can choose which one you want to use when you need to solve for the SS, whichever one you're more comfortable with. One advantage of this computational formula, however, is when you have a larger data set, whether it be a larger sample or a larger population. So say you have a sample of 20 data points instead of five, it'd be much more tedious to go through the definitional formula and take each x value, find its deviation score, and then square those and sum all those up. Whereas in the computational formula, you would just have to take each x value, square them, and plug them in the formula. And that is how to solve for the SS using the, comp the computational method.